Welcome to another Mage tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the Fast Selfie creation type. Go ahead and log into your account on Mage and head over to the Build page, then, in the Generation Types menu at the top, select Fast Selfie. You'll notice that you don't have very many options, just a place to put a prompt, the prompt filter, and dynamic prompt options, and a large area for an image. At the bottom of the page, you'll see the words Selfie Fast, and to the right of it, the words View Details. If you click View Details, two sliders appear, Details, Strength, and Structure Strength. For now, leave that alone. Focusing on the image area, you will see the words test image and a random image. This is because the selfie function requires an image to work, so the site provides you something. But don't use it. You'll get images, but what fun would that be? Instead, pull up your phone, point the camera at yourself, and take a selfie. Then, upload that to the page to use. For this tutorial, We'll just use an image of a random guy that the AI generated with the text-to-image function from the prompt California Surfer Dude portrait. To start, you can drag and drop an image, or you can click the button and browse to where the image is, select it, and say Open. Either way, the image will change, and now the test image will be your selfie or in our case, the portrait of a California surfer dude. Please note that this generator type expects to see human faces. You can upload any kind of image that you like, and it will run, but it will use the system's default human face rather than your image, if your image does not have at least one human face in it. And while you can upload a group shot image, the AI will only use one of the faces in it. So to prevent problems for yourself, stick with an image that is a single human, preferably a portrait style close to the camera. Now that you have your image uploaded, it's time to think of a prompt. Let's see what using the prompt spaghetti does to our surfer dude. Those are interesting results. Let's try a longer prompt and see if we can give him long hair. And let's make it an off-the-wall color. We'll use the prompt, long blue curly hair. Not a bad result. Let's see if we can turn him into an alien with the prompt blue alien. I don't think he'll land a role in Avatar, but he's definitely alien. The dynamic prompt is also available for fast selfie, as are all of the prompt filter packs. We could get very silly with this poor surfer, but we'll leave that for you to explore on your own. Let's see what happens if we just use the word dog for a prompt. And the world just got strange. Remember those sliders at the bottom of the page? Let's take a look at how they affect our final result. Right now, they are both set to normal. What is normal? Well, dog humans are certainly not normal, so it doesn't mean give you an image of a normal-looking person. Normal, in the case of our sliders, is simply what the code considers a good average setting. We have two sliders to play with, Details Strength and Structure Strength. Let's set both of them to zero and essentially turn them off and see what happens. Since our prompt was dog, what we apparently did was turn off the image itself, as the result is most definitely a dog. And if we change the prompt to cat, but don't move the sliders, we get a rather generic cat. So the sliders determine how the image is used. Let's turn structure strength all the way up to 1.5, but leave the details strength at zero. We'll leave our prompt as the single word cat and generate. And we have an image that has almost nothing at all cat-like about it. It looks a lot like our starting image. It's a dude. He's facing the same way, has the same color hair and skin, but yet the image isn't exactly the same as the image we uploaded. 
Let's reverse the sliders. We'll put the structure strength at zero and turn the detail strength all the way up to one. This results in an image that is just another cat. Even if we zoom in, there isn't anything that looks remotely like our uploaded image. Let's go ahead and mix the values sum. We'll turn the structure strength up to low, or 0.2, and we'll leave the details strength where it is at 1. Let's lower the details strength down to 0.9, which is somewhat higher than normal, but not blasting at full volume. And we still have a cat. Cats are persistent. Perhaps this one is waiting for dinner, and that's why it won't go away. Let's turn the structure strength up to 0.5 and see what happens. And now we have a catman of sorts. Obviously, if the sliders are turned off or turned up to full, the effect is going to be fairly predictable. You'll get your prompt or you'll get your uploaded image. The fun comes when you start mixing things up and sliding the numbers around. And now it's your turn to play with the fast selfie generator. Upload your photo and amaze your friends with what you can turn into. Thanks for watching and happy creating.